It's a busy week in Val d'Isere where the town are gearing up for their 60th World Cup race. With almost a metre and a half of snow, there's a sense of relief here that things are going ahead as planned. Twelve months ago, it was a very different picture. In what was one of the warmest winters since records began, races were cancelled here for the second time in five years. While organisers are confident that scenes like this are an irregular phenomenon, Meteorologists at the nearby town of Bourg Saint Maurice paint a different picture. Moi, je travaille depuis 1977 sur un site de Météo France qui se trouve en plein cœur des Alpes du Nord. Et quand on fait des régulièrement, quand on analyse le temps qu'il fait, chaque mois, chaque mois, chaque mois, il y a vraiment de quoi être préoccupé. Tous ces phénomènes se reproduisent de plus en plus fréquemment. Il y a quelque chose là d'anormal. And it's predicted to get worse. This forecast by the country's National Weather Service shows a significant decrease of snowfall at 1,300 metres for the next 200 years in a worst-case scenario. Val d'Isère a toujours eu un privilège. Gone are the carefree days when World Cup organisers had to worry about a lack of snow. These images taken from the 1960s show the legendary Jean-Claude Killy carving turns on a course laden with heavy snowfall. Toutoun, c'est Jean-Claude Killy. Concerned for its future, Val d'Isère has taken drastic measures to preserve their legacy and their tourism, investing over $3 million in the largest snowmaking facility in Europe. And you have all the snow guns? This vast cavernous space under the town is the nerve centre from where the race director, Vincent J, can control 680 snowmaking cannons covering 40% of the ski terrain. I can switch off one snow gun, two snow gun, three snow gun. I can do everything on the mountain from here. <laughs> yeah, it's a secret. <laughs> For one of the oldest resorts in the Alps, this new technology is doing more than simply preserving the tradition of the World Cup. It's providing a future for the ski industry and reassurance that the traditional way of life will continue here. It's, uh, all the people who live in Val d'Isère, work in Val d'Isère, for the children, for the youth, we should get the snow. It's the economy of the, not especially on Val d'Isère, but on all Alpine ski resorts. It's difficult if we have no snow, it should be difficult for all the economy. Christina McFarlane, CNN, Val d'Isère.